Resident Evil. Hunnigan. Hunnigan, what happened? The transmission got cut off. <laughs> oh no. The little Salazar. Napoleon Salazar. complex Salazar. Jack the line. We didn't want you telling everyone any unnecessary information. Where's Ashley? Ah, oh, so she fell into one of our wonderful traps. It was a very Make obvious sure trap, too. Find her. Don't you worry about her. Oh, yes. I let our miserable insects out for some exercise down in the sewer. Oh, folks. That should keep me company, because boredom kills me. Dude, I look forward <laughs> no. to our next encounter in another life. Uh, all right, so uh, Ashley got captured. She got Scooby Doo turned around on that wall. Um, yeah, that's that's where we left off last time. Um, I said I'm not doing any of the shooting gallery stuff because it's boring to watch. And uh, I'm not trying to like 100% this at all on this this playthrough. I am really just trying to play and beat it. There is a treasure that I've missed. It's I don't know where it is. It's I think it's like straight above me up there on that because it's in this room. And it's already bugging me that there's that one treasure I missed somewhere else. Unless I can open this. No. Okay. Um, and up, I can't go upstairs. I've upgraded everything from Steven. Say hello, Steven. And away we go. We can only go through this door. Slash my barrels. So, it being Halloween, and my birth, uh month. Uh, source. Oh, creepy. I don't... I know, like... Yep. I've seen eight-legged freaks. I know how, uh... I know how effective a shotgun can be. Oh, it's also early in the morning. I'm, I'm trying to uh, get a bunch of these out. Sorry if I sound scattered. I have not had uh, any sort of caffeine or coffee yet. And, um, it's brewing. No snake. Okay, good. I don't... Snakes might only be in the first part of the game, but I, uh... I haven't successfully knifed a snake. Or dodged a snake. So, um... I'm I'm just I'm just really super paranoid about snakes. I also I also don't like snakes in real life. They they don't have knees. Whew. I don't I don't like invisible enemies either. And the music here. This is like one of the first times that's been an actual like spoopy horror game. We're, we're going back to this. Because I just got a feeling there's going to be one that's going to pop out. Yep, look at that. Oh. I didn't see him. You know what? Suck on that. Did we get him? We got him. <laughs> this and the, the, the one that you can't actually kill. I mean, I think eventually these guys get a little bit easier to deal with, or like, I just do way more damage. You're in like an underground cave or something, and they, they're good for farming like the eyes. That, uh, that go in... Go in some of the, um... Go in some of the, some of the, the treasure stuff. Not gonna waste another shotgun. Oh, 
Damn. He just Sam Fishered me. I'm glad their eyes glow, because uh, otherwise I wouldn't really see them. Gone. The shotgun's a bug remover. See, like, I've only gotten eyes from them. I've gotten two green eyes and a red eye. And I don't remember exactly what that... What they go into? I think I... Was it the beer stein? That guy has not had a good time. He was alive until just a few seconds ago. Let's combine you and you. I just need a red herb. I might pop two herbs right now, just because... Uh... No. I heard you. But my back's to a wall. Come on! Bring it on, man. Nah. You know. But this being actually, you know, kind of spooky, I, uh, you know, I, I will, I will profess I do believe in some paranormal stuff. Like I was late to the party because I think I only really, really started listening to him uh, when he joined Sirius XM. But Art Bell. He used to run Coast to Coast AM before he left for George Nori, and George Nori took over, uh, which was his, uh, regardless how you feel about George, like, I'm not particularly a fan of George Nori's content, but, um, he was handpicked by Art to take over for him when he, when he did leave, and I don't remember why he left, uh, Coast to Coast, honestly, I, I can't remember the details, I know there was one thing one uh, radio group he left because something unfortunate happened to his son which I will not talk about because it's not my business but he was blamed for it like the rumors were like he did it to his son which was uh it was actually his teacher oh Luis's memo oh no now I know no I know it's coming up soon it's gonna make me sad uh, we're also bringing the shotgun out. Should I heal up? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna heal up. It might have been a waste to use two, but uh, yeah. it's too rusted. But uh, there's an airplane going by. I have a couple windows open, so if there's a little bit more background noise right now, I apologize this morning. Uh, this is just needed some fresh air in 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 the apartment. Butterfly lamp, you get the cat's eye or these eyes. This one's the one with the blue one. I think I was calling blue for all the other uh, other treasures when it was like orange and purple or something, but. Yeah, I know there's a blue somewhere. There's a blue blue eye. Yeah, let's drain the water. I didn't think that these bugs were these bugs. I thought they were the, the two giant dudes flanking Salazar. But back to Art Bell. Art Bell was uh, an amazing, amazing radio host. Even if you don't like um, paranormal stuff. Like, he uh, he always treated his guests with respect, even if they were didn't deserve it. He he didn't tolerate things like bad language on his on his uh, radio show. Even after he moved to uh, like Sirius XM, and uh, after that, he did his own thing on Midnight in the Desert. Oh God, go away! <laughs> nope. Can I pistol you and save some shotgun ammo? Yes, I can. Uh, Midnight in the Desert was my f was probably my favorite iteration of his show. It was uh, I don't need more green. It was all online. 
sadly he has he has passed away he was a uh longtime smoker professed that he couldn't quit it was his one regret in life that he he continued smoking um so don't don't smoke but he he contracted copd and um he said it was terrible and eventually that contributed to his death um and i i greatly miss hearing him at night he was he was wonderful to listen to especially like as you you know i lived on the east coast so he he started he started his uh he started his show like at midnight my time and hit midnight in all of the uh, u.s time zones in like a three or four hour long show every weeknight like man was a machine and it just it just I don't know I'm sure everybody has like an entertainer or you know something that that they've lost you know and 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 they miss because it marks a certain period of their time and it's a it's a chapter of your life that's over you can't get it back ever and art you know again though I was late deeply respected him because he he was one of the driving factors that helped get me into radio even though I didn't know it like I said it at a college uh, radio show I totally missed because I didn't see his eyes but I did a college radio show and then 200 ish episodes of a podcast I wasn't on every every episode so that's why I say I did 200 ish um I'm sure I'll get a comment, you know, uh, because I got a comment before about Reservoir Dogs that, that is, oh, you actually were only on, like, 162, you know, or whatever, uh, episodes, but, hey, I was there for the college show that we did every week, just, uh, just putting that out there, so I did all of those episodes as well. And uh, those, those should count for something. But no, I that's partly why I'm doing this too. Is I I loved doing, I loved doing those shows. I like performing. I did improv for a while, and um, you know this is just another venue to do that. That's why I talk about myself a lot because it's it's a topic I'm I'm okayly versed in. <laughs> I kind of know myself. And talking about you know my experiences and, and everything because it's partly it's documented so that I'll live on for a while until you, you know the great solar flare takes out everything and it's partly because of somebody else might find it interesting oh cultists well there's Ashley thank you for playing Resident Evil <laughs> Yep. That solved that problem pretty quickly. Can they get up here? They can't get up here. Oh. I am going to poorly time this jump. Oh, did I not poorly time that jump? Wonderful. Yeah, Steven, you, you, I don't blame you for hanging out behind the... the safe barrier when these cultist guys showed up. Do to do. Come on. Keep coming up. Yeah. Sure. Oh, no. Didn't want to do that. Ugh. 
But, uh, anyway. You know, it's a little insighting to me. If you, if you needed more, if you don't know, you know. Illuminato's Pendant. Good. Well, that's at least a lot of money. Welcome. So, yeah. Like I said, George Dory is not my favorite. I think he, uh... Personally. This is just my personal opinion. You know? I think he, uh... Chases sensational things a little bit too much, unlike art. I don't know if I can combine that with anything, so I'm not gonna yet. says the handgun. I can't upgrade it anymore. Can't upgrade anything. Okay. But, um, still, like, it might be worth a listen, since you don't have the history I have, which, you know, I'm, I'm, don't take my word for, as, as, as gospel on anything, really, because I don't, Oh, that's how I get that treasure. Okay. But um, you know, if if you're if you're into that, like check it out. I would also recommend there there the one good thing about Art Bell is there are a bunch of people who have archived all of his stuff or a lot of his stuff. So if you search for Midnight in the Desert, I know there's one there's one YouTube channel that uh has can I combine that with anything yet? Do I have anything that will combine? No. That's the eyes, right? Yeah, because the green eye or that's the gems or something. It's it's um you know you you can go find it all and I do I do recommend it. I if you're into that sort of thing, it's it's a it's a decent it's a decent listen. I mean, sadly, you can't call in anymore because the show doesn't exist. It, it Midnight in the Desert did exist for a little while after Art decided to retire, uh, only because he had he had another protege named Heather Wade that took over after him, and it, you know it's just she talked a lot about her cat. Because she made that she did make the show hers. It was just different, and that's you know, like I said, that's okay. Different doesn't necessarily mean bad, but it's, if it's different, and there are certain things, you know, you you might not like it. If it's different. That's that's understandable. I think I can get away with a pistol again with these guys, but uh, you know, she made it her own, definitely. And there were some people that really did like it. And I'm not I'm not saying they're wrong. Because, you know, you like what you like. And, uh... I never read these things. I don't... I'm more about the action in this game. Yep. I'm a bad man for you. Oof. Why, why am I doing long-range pistol... Where's the other one? Oh, you hit. Oh, that uh. <laughs> wow, that was lucky. Uh. Woof. Okay. I I am. Uh, I have often said I would rather be lucky than good and I think that's a case of being lucky instead of skilled there's nobody to my no, okay actually let me suplex you suplex machine
I don't think the suplexing the guys with the uh, metal masks, by the way, instantly kills them like that. I don't think it's an instant skull crusher. I, I don't remember. I'll try it. Let's try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just collecting treasure. You come down and fight me, man. It's weird. I'm not creeped out by the cultists or anything, but those bugs and that music creep me out in the sewer. <laughs> like, I was, I was genuinely a little spooked. Why not? Why not jump through every window you can? There's nothing there. Yeah, let's try to suplex him. Oh. Well, that didn't work out. But, uh, we'll save bullets. For treasure. I will admit, if, if you've never played this game, and, you know, you're a little jumpy, the constant whispering of the cultists... Like in, in such, you know, situations like this, uh, that that was that was a little freaky. Like my first couple times playing through, or at least my first time until I got you know stupid powerful weapons. Because this uh, the this game and why some people who were Resident Evil fans before didn't like it was because it's too focused on action, and that is a legitimate criticism. It took away a little bit of the. Um, more of the survival horror -y things. That... Oh, I gotta chase you down to get that key, don't I? Oof. And I, uh, totally... Did that kill both of them? Vundaba. That was decent treasure. I have way too much money right now. I could totally buy the broken butterfly. Uh, but I'm not going to. I'm going to uh, go get it for free. Is that where he ran? And I'm dead. Well, um, I'm going to go get coffee, pour myself a cuppa, uh, and I'll edit this to fade and shit, so. All right, coffee acquired. Let's um do this slightly more intelligently. Because I could have easily healed all the way up and expanded my health again. I was just being a dumb. Maybe I should get the semi-automatic rifle. I think it does less damage, but... um. But I've never 
messed around with it, and I definitely have the money. And it takes the same ammo. Yep, let's, uh... Let's shoot that barrel first. Because that took out a decent chunk, right? That took out a very decent chunk. Point blank rifle in right there. Ooh, are you gonna pop? No, good. Good, that would have, uh, kind of thrown a wrench into the plans of not, you know, dying. Eh. I'm gonna be greedy and take all the treasure, too. I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not, a. Uh... I will not unnecessarily jump through a window again, though. Well, maybe I will. Oh, there's you. You're the one whispering. You know what? I don't want to mess around. I've got uh, enough ammo. Hoppin' heads. But no, I've actually had what I think might be paranormal experiences. I've had a couple uh, in my the house I grew up in. Um, I used to, uh, I mean, some of this, like, you can chalk up to, yeah, you're a dumb kid. Um, like, I used to get very creeped out, and around the time, I, I knew my great-grandmother. She died in the early 90s. Um, I think, like, 93? Well, I'm not gonna waste bullets again. Uh, or 92. I don't remember exactly when, but she was born in the 18... She was born... 1880, 1890, somewhere around... Somewhere in the, that those decades. Um, you know, so she, she saw my great-grandmother. I mean, think about it. She's, she grew up in a time where you got around in a horse and buggy. She saw... You know, the birth of the automobile. She saw the birth of, um, you know, the, the airplane takeoff. She saw, um, you know, she went from horse and buggy to car to atomic bomb to jets. All within her lifetime. Like, that... That had to just be amazing. And she was... She was, uh... You know, like many people from growing up, that I remember her being incredibly tough and incredibly resilient. Um, and incredibly, incredibly, like, no nonsense, no bullshit. She was a, uh, she was one of the first, in the first couple rounds of the Women's Army, Army Corps. She was a whack in World War II. She outranked my grandfather, which she never let him forget. Because, um... Can I just jump down somewhere? Yeah, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try to head him off the pass. You know, she... Since she outranked him, she always made him salute. <laughs> which I thought... You know, that's, that was hilarious. Um... Even on, um... As I miss every single shot... Oh my. Oof, nope. You need to, uh. That's the sit down gun, right? That's what they said in Danger 5. You need to get killed in the most gruesome way possible, which is knifing? You caused me too much health. And you didn't drop me an item. Ooh. I don't know if this works. I 
think it worked. Well, that didn't work. The more you know. At least it, it didn't work long enough. Oh, good. If you're wondering how I take my coffee, by the way, because people always, when you say you drink coffee, oh, how do you drink it? Everybody seems to ask that. I usually drink it black, but I, um... My wife started getting oat milk, and I, I started putting a splash of that on top. I shake it up really, really well first. So it, um, it gets kind of creamy and foamy. And it, it adds, like, a little bit of sweetness. It, you know... It's, uh, not bad. I used to, uh, you know, when you, when you start drinking things, it's, it's like when you start drinking beer or something like that, you, um... You know, you put, uh... You put, like, sugar and cream in there. You know, you probably t put too much because you don't know when you're used to something probably sweeter. Like, I drank soda for my uh, caffeine before switching. You gonna drop me anything? Yes, you are. I will not worry about the treasure just yet since I know I'm stuck in this room. Yeah, I know. Like how I'm not being tactical anymore. It's just like, yeah, fuck off. It's, um, Groundhog's Day-ish at this point. I don't know if he's... Or... Is that the one where he just ran up and punched Ned in the face? Good thing is, I still got here in time to go grab... That treasure. Again, since I... If anybody's playing, like, a bingo card that they made, I, uh... Using Xbox control... Or Xbox uh, prompts with a PlayStation controller. But no, my great-grandmother was an amazing, amazing person. I wish I was older when, when you know, it's, that's the... That's the thing, is I didn't realize. Like, I wish I realized more, if that makes sense. You know, I, I had a better understanding of, of, of family and, and all that. At, the, at that time, because, um, you know, there's so, there's so much more now going through what I've gone through. There's like, so what was it like? Like what, you know, like how did you deal with the various stages of refrigeration? Because when she was born, she was born in, uh, she was a New Yorker. They lived in Brooklyn. That's where my, my grandfather was from and where we met my grandmother. Ow. Oop, I didn't pop my healing thing either. Ugh. Flounder. So here's my death montage scene. What was that? That was it eight deaths? Something like that? A little bit more? Don't remember. Uh, switch to you. But no, there's just there's just so much lived history in her life. You know, and, and th I mean, if you think about it, you have some too. I, you know, and I'm not I'm not trying to. There was um, I had a friend. I won't name him, but I'll name him enough so that people who know will know. Uh, I'll call him Lucky, especially because he he but he would constantly profess. That he was born in the wrong generation. He would he would always say stuff like, you know, I was born uh, too late to explore the world, you know, and too early to explore space. There's nothing going on, you know. That sort of a uh, oh, woe was me, lost generation, pity me bullshit. Um, you know, because you didn't you don't realize like what an exciting time you lived through. You know, like you think if you think about it, like think about publishing, just publishing, okay. You went from a time 
where you had to, like, if you were born like me in the mid-80s, you know, which I am, I uh, guess I'm a millennial, but I don't have the typical millennial mindset at all. Uh, if you couldn't tell. Um, or at least I don't think I do. I don't, I don't like avocado toast. Yeah, it doesn't pop the head. Did it kill him? No? Uh, I'm gonna wait for him to get back up. You know, but this whole Lost Generation, you know, Fight Club type thing, like... Uh, no, no, you're not gonna let me kick you? I'm gonna shoot you in the... I'll shoot you in the penis till you die. Uh, you know, but I mean, a lot of life is what you make of it. And to get back to my point on publishing, like, you went from a time where you needed to go to a big publisher. You needed to go to Random House, Penguin, um, Tor, uh, what are the other... I'm trying to remember some of the other big publishers. You know, if, uh, if you want to comment and tell me I don't know anything, like, go ahead. I'm, I'm, I am vastly lost when it comes to publishing it's not my forte but then you had the rise of people doing things online for themselves you know blogs became a form of publishing you could publish a long form story uh, on your blog you could publish short stories on your blog and collect them and if they got enough traction you uh, congratulations you would get picked up you know we went from a time where you'd have to be discovered physically by a record label to Justin Bieber having Usher see him on a YouTube show channel and uh, offered him a deal, and we got, you know, cursed with that. You had CeeLo Green before him, or around the same time, you know, with the uh, driving around town with a girl I love, you know, and I'm like, fuck you. That, that song. So I just have to run around, I believe. And... If I just constantly run, that's what I gotta do? If I'm just gonna constantly run until I can get behind him? But, um, I mean, what what else, you know? I mean, the, just the rise of the internet. You know, just, just, you went from, you know, in my lifetime, you went from basically just message boards, you know, being the only way to do, to look at, look at YouTube. You know, there's been a lot of advancement, whether you, whether you can see it or not. It's, uh, it, it is, a, it's amazing. You know, you even have, you know, look at your phone. You have the internet coming to you via satellite from space in a pretty, usually, depending on where you are, a pretty reliable uh, way. That's, that's, that should blow your fucking mind if you're, you know, if you're in your 30s. You know, you're, if you think things aren't as good as they used to be, congratulations. You're like somebody saying, musket load was great. You know, you, you, no, you're fucking wrong. Like, that's one thing I will, that's a hill I'll die on. You're fucking wrong on that, man. <laughs> like, it's, it's the advancements that we have seen, you know, in just cell phones. I remember of a, a time before cell phones, and there are people alive on this planet today that take them for granted. There are eight-year-olds that, you know, when I was about eight, I was like, yeah, everybody needs an NES or a Genesis. You know, that, that's common fucking technology. 16-bit consoles are common technology. Can I Can I open it? Yeah, and, you know, now it's, and, and you know, an eight-year-old's like, oh, I, I need the latest iPhone, you know, and, 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 no, you don't. I could get by with a fucking Nokia flip phone right now and be perfectly happy. 
but I, you know, like I said, I'm a redneck hobbit before, so I, uh, oh no. Sacrifice of six lives. Okay. Let's... Uh, I gotta get to six. This is oof. This is if I can get no and four. That should get me to six. There we go. I am flipping puzzles, man. Just, just, but, uh... Oh. What a blessing surprise. Those two guys flanking him, they're... They're a pain. Not you, Mr. Kennedy. If you don't need me, then get off my back, old man. <gasps> Did you say old man, Mr. Kennedy? I'm not a man, I'm a boy. Come as a surprise. I'm a real boy. So you're just like all the others? A puppet of the parasites? Surely you don't think I'm the same as those diminutive ganados. The parasites. I have no idea what that. Plagas are slaves to my will. I have absolute control. Oh. Well, really well that corrupts absolutely. Rain or shine, you're going down. See, Leon, you have a gun. Why wouldn't you just, you know, quick like you've blown away so many cultists at this point? Why wouldn't you just quick draw a fucking hit? I mean, unless you think he's too small of a target. Oh boy, here I go killing again. The scythe guys... They can throw them as well as uh, come and stab you. Which is kind of, kind of neat. You know, it's a dual threat. Don't, don't pop. Just, just fall down. Good. Oh. Jossum. Let's go hide. They will blow each other up too, I think. This is fun. I enjoy this. I'm glad all these guys are showing up, and I'm not saying that sarcastically. Like, the... Firefights in this game can be totally fun. Uh, oh, I missed the first one. La, yeah, you lie yourself, man. Oh no. Oh. Well, we both missed, and I'm being terrible. <laughs> Oh my. Ow. By fire be purged. Oof. Uh, let's, um, super heal. Fire be upon you. In his name, O Lord of Fire. Which, uh, according to the Black Pants Legion, is Zorp. I don't know if I pray to Zorp yet. I know I like his ways. I would, I would like a pamphlet, please. If anybody has an informational pamphlet on Zorp. Or Zorg. Play Zorg? See? I need, I need a pamphlet, man. I, uh, I don't even know what I'm saying. It's Zorg. I just remembered. They are not my people. I just uh, occasionally watch them. I am a, a firm independent. Kind of. Kind of. I, I, I belonged to uh, the Vertigo crew. I mean, I still do. I don't think we, we have disbanded. I think we just stopped. There is a difference. There's a difference between being burned out and not wanting to do that. Or not having time. We've all... Uh, We've all gotten uh, considerably older. I didn't kill the rocket launcher dudes behind the painting, but I uh, also don't need to know if I needed to. They haven't popped back out yet. 
But yeah, that, I mean, Lucky would constantly, you know, bemoan his situation being like, there's nothing. He was, um, he studied history. Ooh, a shiny. There they are. Got one shot. And uh, we didn't need to take it. That uh, that sucked. That was terrible. No, not not that. You don't jump across. Okay. Smarter than this. The other side should probably heal as well. That's a jump down button as can. Uh, go through here. We're gonna heal though. We uh, hey, a yellow. Instantly combine that with something. But there's, there's just, you gotta, you know, sometimes you gotta look at more than just yourself. And, uh, I might have done that wrong. I don't know. Where's the door out of here? Up there. Can I just go up? No. Oh boy. Let's uh, make sure I get rid of all the lamps as well. There's there's a lot. You just have to kind of look around and and realize you know how many how much things have advanced. And sometimes it's scary, like uh, you know, the surveillance state. Can I hit it again? No, I can't. Do to do to do. Like the, you know, with everybody tr tracking you, really. And I mean, if anybody thinks they're not being tracked, like the uh, there's the the anti-vaxer crew that is like, well, I don't want a microchip put in me, you know. And it's like, okay, do you carry around a cell phone? Like you're, you're being tracked. You uh. You're just willfully doing it because they made it so convenient for you to be tracked like that, you know? Like, I, uh, like I've said, corporations aren't your friend, uh, and I, I love Disney. I, I love everything Walt Disney stood for, and before you go, well, he hated, he hated this group of people or whatever, the, uh, and here are the cartoons to back it up. The, if you look back factually at who was leveling those allegations at him, uh, it was the it was the same people who made those cartoons that were communists. I'm, I'm not not trying to slander anybody or or you know or anything, but uh, that was their political affiliation. And the first place is to mention that he was racist and all this stuff were those were those uh, communist newspapers that, um... Okay, I gotta extend that, but how? But there were communist newspapers run by communists that worked, that were trying to get um, Disney to unionize, which, I, you know, I've dealt with, I've had union jobs and I've had non-union jobs. Some, you know, there are benefits and... Uh, There we go. I was just not looking at the right door. Now there's going to be more dudes. Yay. They're one-time use objects, guys. So, you know, look at who's saying stuff. It's it's just like when you look at um, everybody today can leave a review for a restaurant. And if you look at the the people that are like leaving reviews for, for
for restaurants and everything they say is negative. Everything they say is this place is the worst. Like they did blah, 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 blah. They're a negative person and they're, they're hating everything. You know, are they trustworthy? You know, did they used to work there? Is there, is their bias colored like that? Are they, you know, are they saying things they know are untrue to, uh, further, further what they, you know, further their ideological or political belief? You know, are they, are they poisoning the well? Like, are they, there's a, there's a whole bunch of things. So, uh, you know, I don't know if I necessarily believe all the stuff about Walt Disney, given his actions, and, uh, Oh, those crows. And, and, you know, I just, because of the source, the source material, the source, in my opinion, is unreliable. I used to study history as well. You know, it's just like, are you going to believe, are you going to believe the, oh God, are you going to believe Benedict Arnold saying he did everything out of benevolence because he loved America? Or are you going to believe his actions where, you know, he was playing both sides. He didn't really love America. He just wanted to win. He didn't want to be on the losing side, and he was he was he was a brilliant general. He was he was a smart guy, but you know the the not wanting to be on the losing side of a war, which yeah, understandable, uh, you know, makes him a traitor because he didn't believe in the cause and and he didn't stick by it. How would he be viewed had he had the British won? That's that's something to think about, you know, because you you forget all these all these people in history are are men and women just like you are. That's where I'll leave it. I've been Magnificent Flounder. Uh, next time, I'll actually talk about my personal paranormal experiences that I had in my childhood house. Because it is Halloween, and we gotta keep it uh, spoopy. So, until next time, stay shiny and later. Later.